Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Carnarvon Action 10. It's the Tier 8 British Premium Tank and it's located on the Assault Team on Siegfried Line. Now it's being commanded by Mile 2006. And you can see one mark of excellence on his barrel. Let's get this show on the Game road. started. Well, the Carnarvon Action 10 is a bit of a fictional tank, really. It never actually existed. The British Army never actually uh, mounted bursting plates on a Carnarvon turret, because uh, those plates are aimed for the turret, and uh, they never man mounted that particular turret on top of the Carnarvon chassis. Um, in fact, actually, what they did is they went straight to the uh, Centurion design. Now it's a 20 pounder gun, so it's got quite a lot of power behind it. And uh, people are getting decent results. This is the last tank that was on the last uh, reward tank from, uh, um, from the marathon. And he's trying to get it up into the colour. Got a couple of enemies at the other end, and which one's he going to go for first? So no need. Can you get shots through that? Firing standard AP, gets the shot through, but he has been hit. And that only pulling back. Okay, we took a round in the observation, in the Capola. And another round from the Churchill 7. Seems that we're having HE rounds fired as far as the only. Oh, another big round from the only, but it's only 182. We did get a round into the Churchill 7 4 229. We'll need to get that uh, that Scorpion to back up a bit, because otherwise we're going to take hits. Oh, he's gone around us. So, is he actually? He's gone around us. Go for the boobs, and 229 on the only. Ooh, took another big round, HE round, 265. Go for the boobs again, 227. Go for the lower plate. Oh, yeah, that one worked, 203. The up damage is 230. And uh, penetration 226 with standard ammo goes up to uh, 258 with the APCR. Now, we didn't get a hit there, but there's Progetto. We should be able to go straight through that. And we've immobilized him. 251, high roll. Trying to get around into the only not visible. Oh, you can see all the HE rounds have hit the turret. It's fairly obvious for the only to go for us. And yeah, nice round, but it's a low roll, 188. We can hit him through the arch, but we actually go through the engine deck. And that was a nice roll of 231, a high roll. Oh, that was an IKB. And it was an AP round, and we're Amorax. Now we've repaired that straight away, but now it means our toolkit's going to be on uh, uh, on cooldown. I think it's going to go after this Wizzy 131. And then try and work his way around with the Hellcat. He was a bit of a novice, unfortunately. So, oh, just to come around from Marty. So that Wizzy is obviously spotting. I found with this one, when you come up, use the gun depression against the enemy, and almost ready. The Wizzy's a one shot, and we've got him. Okay, now we can move in and get that uh, Arty. We've got the Hellcat with us. Hopefully he's got the 90mm gun. I think he has. And we're not going in after the RT. What's happening here now is that we're going to go after the tanks and down. You can see two of those rounds actually went through the bursting plate. Well, one, one through the turret, two through the turret. See all the HE that hit us. Okay. Nice round into the tube two. Tra tracked him. Now, going to go through the front plate. Yep. 212, it's a low roll, but it's a one shot. He's out of the game. So, second kill. 
Now, Churchill 7, this is going to be a difficult prospect. One round in for 199. Low roll. But now we can go to town on him. Oh, here's the Oni, but we've killed him. 112. Here's the GW Panther. One shot into him. And now, Churchill 7. He's a one shot now. Going for the ramp. No. Yep, there's the one shot that kills him. Now, where's that GW gone? He's gone around the corner. Watch out for that ice IKB. Oh, he went on his side almost. But that's another kill. Five kills. One more, he gets the top gun. There's the GW. He's out of the game. There's the top gun. Now, who's next? There's four enemies remaining. Judas is out the field. Uh, there he is. Oh, he's come back. And he's been wiped out. Oh, we've wasted that round, unfortunately. But we're loaded, ready to go. It's five seconds on the Reno. 4.98 to be precise, but that's quite quick. And we've platooned with two other tanks. And we've got 11 kills between us. Um, so, there's a possibility of a uh, crucial contribution here. A very good possibility. Now, the enemy has got uh, one heavy tank, the Samur SM, he's got four kills. The SU-100 tank destroyer, he's got no kills. And the MX-12 ton, well, he's got no kills either. Now, they're all difficult opponents because the SU-100, oh, there's the SU-100 with the big, big gun, the Pizdet Simu, as it's called. And we get one into his lower plate for 247, it's a high roll. We can probably finish him off. No, not we. Two shots it's going to take to finish him off. One in. Now, we need to get alongside him. Oh, that worked. Didn't work. But we'll take him out with the next round anyway. So, there is our crucial contribution. 12 kills. There's the Amex 12 ton. Going after him. He's uh, fighting with our Lorraine 15550. Who's, well, he's coming up on the Lorraine 15550. We're going to barge past this uh, GW. We're probably not going to get to him in time before he kills. Oh, there's the Samur. We have to kill him. He's a one shot, I think. Yep, he is a one shot. Only one shot needed. And can we get it through? Oh, well, he's, he's noticed us. He's pulled back behind. I hope he's not loaded. I suspect that he is. Take him out of the game, but unfortunately, that means the last remaining enemy is the AMX. He's up with our Lorraine, probably trying to get it in without getting killed in the process. Oh, here he is! He came south. He's a three shot at least to kill. And the Lorraine fires around him. Now we're going to find it difficult getting through there. Very difficult. Now the AMX will probably be able to run away from us. Oh, he gets one round in for 214. Two shots to kill him now. And that's the two minute hooter. And this is an assault battle. We have to kill him in the next one minute, 54 seconds, or he will win. And he's running away. Well, we've got sight of him. That's hopefully the Lorraine will be able to do something to help us as well. Oh, why are we firing? Well, the Lorraine's going into the city. He's headed to the camp. We're headed to the cap. We're going to try and cap out. We might be able to do it in time. I'm not sure. Okay, we're in the cap. And it's going to take 1 minute 39 seconds. We need the Lorraine in the cap as well. And we need to be in cover so that if he tries to reset us, he fails. Okay, we've got the Lorraine in the cap. And he's right up against the building. Now, I suspect that the AMX will probably try and come in from the south. Or is the AM... The Lorraine's going to go around the back of this uh, monument here. And hide just behind us. And that's the one minute who turns clicking down. We've got 20 seconds left before we can cap out. So long as the Lorraine stays where he is... And we can bounce any round coming from the AMX. We should be able to win this. He could come from the south. Oh, he's actually come from this direction. And we get the kill shot. And that wins the game when the clock goes out. And we've captured the base as 
well, and the Lorraine flies his round off at the last second before the game has ended. Okay, let's have a look at the end of battle for that one. And it's an ace tanker for Mile 2006 in the Canava Action 10. He also managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got uh, seven in that battle. A Judas badge for taking down two tanks that did damage to him during the battle. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. And here are the really good ones. He got a Radley Waters with that last kill. He actually got nine kills in total. It was actually uh, the Radley Waters was confirmed when he got the Samur. But uh, he got nine kills. I was so wrapped up in what was going on, I missed the fact that he got the Radleys. Uh, so, yes, he got a Radley Waters for getting at least eight kills. He got nine. He got a Spartan badge. He survived and won the battle with less than 10% of his hit points left and bounced around from the enemy at uh, less than 10%. He got a crucial contribution for getting at least 12 kills. And I think they got more than 12 kills, actually, at the end of this battle. Um, and I think, actually, in total, they had four, um, 13 kills at the end. I'm pretty sure it's 13 kills. Um, you can check that actually on the score. Yes, it was. <laughs> so, no, it's 12, 14 kills. Sorry, there was only one kill that wasn't from them. That's it, right. Okay. <laughs> so, 14 kills in total from the battle. A steel wall for um, surviving the battle, having received at least 11 shots from the enemy, blocking at least a thousand hit points of damage um, from the enemy. Um, a high caliber for dealing the most damage overall in the battle and a top gun for getting at least six kills. So a very impressive ray of medals from that one. Let's have a look at team score. Well, we can see here that uh, he got the high caliber, 4,669 hit points of damage. High score on the enemy team was that Samur SM with the uh, top gun. He managed to get 3,126 hit points of damage um, and six kills. But uh, Mile 2006 managed to get nine kills and 4669. Next high score was the Scorpion with 3594 and four kills. When it came to base XP, it was Mile 2006 managed to get 1718. Then we've got the Scorpion with 1074. And then the T3485 on his team managed to get 683. But it was the Samur who managed to get more than him with 786 on the defending team. On the um, uh, losing team, I'm afraid. Uh, let's have a look at the detail report. He fired 34 rounds of 20 pounder ammunition. He got 28 direct hits, 25 penetration, damage of 4,669 hit points, of, uh, of which all of it was at close range. He received 12 hits from the enemy, five of which were penetrations, seven non-penetrations, and one hit as a result of splash damage. Now, he was lucky, actually, because some of those rounds um, did bounce off, but, of course, the, the good shots were right at the start where the uh, he did receive the HE rounds and that IKB, which shot straight through the uh, armor. Uh, block damage of 1,260 hit points. He damaged 11 of the enemy, killed 9 of them, and did damage assistance of 418 hit points. He also managed to get 54 cap points while sitting in the cap. On a standard account, he earned 89,823 credits, got 35,929 credits from the personal missions payout, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, he took away 70,043 credits. So this is quite a good earner, this tank, if you can play it right. And of course, it does require someone to play it right. I've actually had pretty good battles in the Carnarvon Action 10 myself, I must admit, and I find it quite a fun tank to play. He received 1,718 base XP, times two for the first victory, 687 from personal missions payout, 172 because this is a premium vehicle, and total came to 4,295 experience points. So a very rewarding battle there for Mile 2006. Uh, an ace tanker and all of those. I mean, that is huge. That really is absolutely massive. So congratulations on this result. Very nice indeed. And I didn't think you'd be able to catch up with that AMX 12 ton. So towards the end, I was thinking, yeah, cap, 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 cap. But most people, they just don't think of capping because they just want to get that extra last kill. But it did draw the enemy back to the cap to get a reset. And therefore, you were able to take him out and get that last kill and get the coefficient bonus. So congratulations. So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.